Hi everybody, I'm Jordan Rolfus from Beagle Rampant Productions. And I'm Selena Rolfus. And we are continuing our Let's Play of Pool of Radiance. In the previous uh, episode, we went to the literature section here at Mendor's Library, ran into the Basilisk, so not a fun time with literature here. Um, uh, and uh, we look uh, through... Um, uh, literature section and you search the room and browse through the books randomly one book reads rhetoric oh well you randomly examine the titles of some of the books you find many more titles none of them of any interest you randomly examine the titles you find many more none are okay so we found the rhetoric book but we really don't care um This is still the literature section. Cool. Um, what section are you? Uh, mathematics is carved onto the entrance. None of that was any interest to me. You randomly examine the titles of some of the books. You find the books on geometry, cosmic geometry, and super magical mathematics. I bet you wish you had that at your school, huh? Uh, yeah. Super magical <laughs> mathematics. Yeah, those last two actually sound kind of good. Although I was not a geometry girl. You see, geometry was always my best math. Yeah. I, If I had to say a best math, it would probably be algebra. Yeah, uh, I mean, algebra can... Yeah, but man, like, if you mess one thing up on an equation, you know? Randomly examine the titles. One book is entitled, The Harmony of the Rock. What does that have to do with math? You randomly examine, you find books on the super magical mathematics. Nah, none of them seem too interesting now. Do, 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 do. This room contains one desk and a bench. Still one desk, one bench. See, this is Mendor the, the Wise's uh, library here. It contains a desk, it contains a bench. Still a desk and a bench. So I guess, like, if you wanted a private chamber to start studying, desk and a bench. Day at the library. Is there going to be a desk and a bench? It contains a desk and a bench. It contains a desk and a bench. Still a desk and a bench. Soon contains, you guessed it, one desk and one bench. Remember that part in Lord of the Rings where, like, Gandalf, he just leaves randomly, and, like, um, he goes to a library and looks at some scrolls, and he has a nice big old goblet of mead, and he's, yeah. like, reading. That, that, that's always a fun scene, because it's kind of like, hmm, is this a time for action, or is it a time for Gandalf uh, enjoying a nice uh, brandy while reading? But, um... And, like, what library lets you drink? I know, right? Like, because what if Gandalf was having a stupid moment and, uh, spilled that everywhere? There are library shelves. Philosophy is carved on the entrance. I like, um, back, you know, in the before times when we could go to Barnes & Noble. Uh, which is even yeah. more before times because they shut it down. Yeah, I know. But, like, and you could take a book. Mm -hmm. And you could go to the Starbucks that was inside the store. Oh, God, yeah. Um, and you can kind of read a little, peruse a book while drinking a coffee. Now, you couldn't take it to the outside balcony area, but you could sit there in the inside of Starbucks. Of course, yeah. And uh, you got to like, wonder how many people accidentally read an entire book. I mean, you'd have to be a quick reader or have all day. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. 
you randomly examine the titles of some of the books, you find a passage of interest in Urgan's description of darkness. I bet Craven really likes this. Oh, yeah. Marum of the Great Spear. Ask of the Voice of Harbut. Tyranthrachus, the Flamed One. That's our enemy! That is our enemy, yes! Borem of Boiling Mud Sea. Kamnaw to the Unseen. Such were the ones that served Bane, the Great Wicked King. So do we see those other people, and do we also see Bane? Uh, you, you beagle pups will have to click subscribe for those answers. <laughs> I'm just feeding right into it. <laughs> <laughs> I know, thank you. <laughs> yeah, you, you pitch it down the middle, I'm gonna swing, dude. You randomly examine the titles of some of the books. You find a scroll with a discourse on magical locales. Most of it is very boring, but one part interests you. Uh, springs or pools hold great magical power. A good example is the Pool of Radiance. That's the name of the game! If you step into the water and meditate, you will gain magical power. Places of magical power are not always fixed to one physical location. Power often shifts from plane to plane, following the line of least resistance. These paths can shift and move the location of magical places. Some beings can wield such tremendous power as to move locations intentionally. If the supernatural force is removed, it will snap back to its original location. You randomly examine the titles of some of the books. You find various books on philosophy. They are very boring. Hey, guys, you remember that episode of Doug on um, Nickelodeon um, where, like, Skeeter becomes a, a genius and he, like, goes to freaking college or whatever and he brings out um, Immanuel Kant's A Critique of uh, Pure Reason and, like, he's tossing out the word apodictic um, to Doug and he's like, what the hell does that even mean? I don't even know. <laughs> and then again, I, for one thing, I don't even know if I'm actually saying the word correctly, and I sure as hell don't know how to spell it, but I did look it up, so if you're watching this episode of Doug, and you're like, what, what does that word mean? It means, like, it's so obviously true, something that's obviously true. So kind of like axiomatic. Yeah, kind of exactly like that, so... You see, Beagle Pups, you learn something, and you learn how magical planes shift from place to place. They follow the line of least resistance. You learn things, Beagle Pups, when you watch the channel. Shall we go through the western door here? Is there something big there? You see what had once been a pleasant garden. The grass and weeds have choked out other plants, and the pond has become marshy. Do you enter? I thought we were looking for history books. We are looking for history books. Do we want to enter this? Okay. You step on a strange green plant. You see it more clearly now as green slime. You try to pull out of the mud quickly, but you take quite a lot of damage. Actually... Ouch! My foot is burning! You pass around it very carefully. In the computer versions, that had a much bigger role to play, but thankfully they um, uh, toned it down for the NES. There are several writing desks and tall chairs in the hall. So, what part did it play? I think you had to explore it a lot, and like, you could take a lot of damage. It seems like they cut a lot of stuff out. They wanted it to be, ironically, they wanted it to be more approachable than the PC versions were. <laughs> and some people could really accuse this game of not being very approachable. This room used to be a meditation room. You find a box of gold foil among the trash. Do you take it? Mm-hmm. Trash the meditation room. Come on, dude. Mm. This room seems to have been a meditation room. You find a box of gold foil. Mm -hmm. Man, I love this uh, treasure song. Du -du -du -du. 
this game just looks really great when they decide to, like, animate it. Like, yeah. Yeah, like, now, like, not so much. Yeah, and it's like, okay, they have a... But could you imagine, though, like, if they actually cared to animate this, you know? There are five kobolds at the table. Uh, don't harm us! You wait. Don't harm us! Okay. Really, it took away my area map for that. So basically, you don't murder the people who don't want to be murdered, and, and they punish you? They punish you, yep. The furniture in this room has completely decayed, and bones are scattered about the floor. They died in the library. NERDS! <laughs> <laughs> but no, seriously, they lived the dream. <laughs> you know. You find a bottle under the floor, do you take it? Mm hmm When do you get your map back? I have to... I would have to, like, go to another area. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Oh, yes. A ghost appears before you. Oh. Hmm. You guys like that game over screen? And moans. Thieves! I will guard these tomes with my very life. But you have already lost your life. <laughs> Bitch, that is some smart ass comment there! I don't guess the ghost can go to sleep. No. You can do it! Casper's no match for you. This isn't gonna do anything. See, you heard the that it um, made the hitting sound, um, but it said that um, it missed. The reason for that is we don't have composite longbows on for the ghosts. So, really, Craven and Nightshade are useless in this battle. Rose, however, does have a magical weapon. And she just regularly missed. Did I not tell her to learn? Oh, wait! I wonder will this work? Didn't think so. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, now we're gonna do the thing. And yep. by thing, you mean same thing. <laughs> yes, that's the thing we're gonna do. Oh my god, I saved after we lost our area. Oh yeah, the madman! Yes! You find a madman cowering in a corner, sobbing. Help! Help! Oh, what's the matter? What's the matter? Mercy, please spare me! Perish, you big slime! The man babbles incoherently. Well, what do you do? Let's talk. Well, yeah, we talked to the madman. Rose. Let's have her talk nicely. He's wrapped in fire and so cool! He's wrapped in fire and so cool! Alright, Rose, bring out bring out the nasty girl here. He's wrapped in fire and so cool. Craven, jump in here. The big one! The wicked one! He's in the castle of flowers! <laughs> so, notice what he said there. Like, the big one, the wicked one, is in the castle of flowers. Like, and how the guy is, like, wrapped in a fire. This will come back later. Huh. Alright. 
The man seems reluctant and fearful. He also appears to be completely mad. You want to take him with you? Um, yes. His men are in the town, and he will come too. The man doesn't want to go with you. Do you force him to join you? No. Really? Well, if he doesn't want to. I mean, I guess you know better. Wait, what do you think, Squeak Doo? Um, I usually do take him with me. It, it doesn't really matter. I mean, if it doesn't matter and he, he doesn't really want to go. go, just okay. leave. He draws away slowly until he is out of sword reach and then bolts from view. So what I usually do is I take him with me, and then once you go back to town, the first second you go into a cleric's office, they say, oh, you poor guy, and they um, uh, uh, nurse him back to right. So it seems to have been a laboratory. It has fallen to completely to disuse now. Wait, so he could have been saved? Mm -hmm. he... Well, you didn't tell me that. Well, yeah, no, I wanted it to be a surprise. Oh, you just said, though, that it made no difference. It, and in terms of the gameplay, it doesn't. It's terrible. So, like, yeah, no, it's fine. He'll, 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 uh, he'll go play with the Spectre. And, like, he will join the party. He is, a, as an NPC, he is a completely useless NPC. He is the worst NPC in the game. Durton is pretty bad, too. <laughs> We're, when we pick Durton up after, once we finally accept Braccio's, um, quest, um... There is a book among the trash. Do you take it? There's the manual on how to play this game. <laughs> you wish, dude. Actually, I don't even remember what the manual does. This room seems to have been a meditation room. You find a box of gold foil. Mm -hmm. Guys, it's almost night time. Alright, do we want to take on this... Do we want to try to take on the, uh, Spectre again? God. Let me, let me go back to the meditation room. I might be able to safely rest in the meditation room here. Um... I only remembered... I only remember rise um... Sleeps cast. Um. Boy, I hope I'm making the right call here. Yeah, because we're going to want a lot of magic missiles to do in that, um. Spectre. The Spectre is a very um, uh, tough nuggins to battle. So we're gonna load everyone up with some magic missiles. And I hope you don't get bothered. We're in the meditation room. Come on, like, um... You know? Nighttime at the library. Yeah. <sighs> Thieves, I will guard these tomes with my very life. But you have already lost your life. You smart ass bitch!
Okay. Yeah, just keep lobbing them missiles, brah. That's what the lizard people say. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Yes! You got some magic missiles there, the uh, Splinter? Oh, look, you can um, surrender now, Spectre. Spectre, we have clearly defeated you. is a very, very tough um, bad guy, but it's, uh, I guess we had the smart um, idea to use a um, whole bunch of magic missiles. God, I wish I had my area map. Okay, we're outside of the library at the southernmost end. Area map is back, kids. Area map is back. Okay. We needed to actually go to the history um, area, so... There are several writing desks and tall chairs in the hall. There sure are. This was the laboratory. Falling into decay now. I'm just going to keep saving in case I accidentally run into that cobalt room. This is it. Do we want to just, um, to harm them? What if we advance? Maybe they would run away. Both parties advance. They throw up their hands. Poorly. Okay. Help, please. I'll tell you whatever you want. Yes. Okay, the boss of the textile house is hidden in a secret room. After telling you this, the kobolds flee. There okay. we go. Cool. Thanks, buddy. An all-nighter at the library, huh, kids? Hell yeah, party! Did you guys ever do an all-nighter at the... I did... Well, the only all-nighter I ever did at school was, like, my last day of college, um, with, um, my thesis project, and, um, I just straight up did not sleep to get the thesis project, um. Yeah, I remember did. that. Yeah, that was, that was something. Your project was really cool, though. Well, thank you. Uh, yeah, it was... Too bad you don't have it anymore. That would be oh, awesome for you, too. Oh, oh, no, I do have it, and I did have it on YouTube for a while, but I just felt like people didn't like it, so I took it down. Let me know in the comments section, Beagle Rampant. That would be something weird, because this video isn't going to get a whole lot of views, so, like, if this video <laughs> generates um, some excitement to uh, get the Galactic Knight, that was the name of my thesis project. It was about a... Uh, young man who falls in love with an alien. You find a bottle under the floor. Do you take it? Mm -hmm. This room seems to have been a meditation room. We're looking for history books, dude. 
And now it's morning. That all night are feeling like, oh my god, I spent all night doing schoolwork. I remember one time I was um doing like I was helping a friend do like a Christian camp for grade schoolers. Like we were in high school. Mm -hmm. And I ended up staying all, up all night for that. Okay. It was a pretty fun time. We got to do a hay ride. Oh, fun. Hay, hay rides are fun. Literature. Well, we know how Craven feels about literature. Yeah, he does not um, endorse the literature in here. Philosophy. I think we got all of the books. I think we may have done... Oh, history. This is what we actually needed. Yeah. Cool. Yay! You randomly examine the titles of some of the books. You find various books of legend. None of them really interest you. You randomly examine the titles of some of the books. You find a thick military history book. Some parts of it seem to be important. Ugh, I would not be reading that book. <laughs> there is a general named Tyran Thrachus. He rode before his armies cloaked in flame. Just like the, the guy said. He just like the madman said. He was a cruel man who crushed kingdoms and slew the fallen monarchs. But Tyranthrachus himself was finally consumed by the very fire that surrounded him, and then his spirit roamed free. Baron Ashot imprisoned Tyranthrachus in a bottle and sank it in the Lake Longreach. And thus was Tyranthrachus' army destroyed. You randomly examine the titles of some of the books. You find various books of legend, and none of them really interest you. Randomly examine the titles. One book is entitled The Chronicle of Aram. You randomly examine them. None of them really interest you. You find various books of legend. One more time, and then we'll head back to Flan. Okay, cool. We are gonna head on back to Flan. That is the Mindor's Library Quest. Oh, fun! I should actually relearn maybe some of the uh, sleeping spells. Just in case. And just in case. Just in case someone needs a nap. Yep, I have a feeling malevolent moles and um, lizard men, you know, uh, Trump and Biden will be bothering us. <laughs> Oh no, Pumpkin does memorize it. Alright, rest up, guys. Encounter malevolent moles. Yep. It's like I saw it coming. That should give us a good range there. Brock, can you take that knoll out with your longbow? No, but... Well, he hit a little. Yeah. Oh, dude, Nightshade, you're using a staff, because... Get, and I think we will eventually, because actually, like, Rose's bow 
is actually a long one. Like, Rose's Bow, I'm sorry, Rose's Bow is a magical one. Yeah. So, um, she could have used her bow to, um, take care of the Spectre. Kind of brave of me to have Splinter, um, going up to the moles here. Eh, that's life in the big city, bud. That's life in the big city of Flan. Turn undead for them. Mother of God. You took half her hit points, bruh. Those are kind of cute, though. Yeah. Like, yeah, they kind of look like puppies in the head. Yeah, they're either a puppy or a mouse. Puppy mouse. Oh god. Clerics were good at clericking. That would be good. Right. Cool. The slums of Flan. Alright, guys, we're gonna just be uh, chilling in the uh, slums here, you know? <laughs> just, just slumming it. Yeah! There we go. Learn your spells. We'll obviously need to rest till morning so we can go to the council hall and uh, get our reward. Completely empty room. I always go through the wrong door. Look at me thinking I know where I'm going. <laughs> Dirty room. With the evidence of the large, untidy animal. And the dirty, smelly room. Good memories. I mean, so the room... would that be like a dirty, untidy animal? Are we to assume that it's poop? Yes. Yes, it is poop. City council clerk will give you your commissions. Alright, the corridor runs south and it's watched by guards. Let me check whether we owe you a reward. Hmm, you beat the monsters at the library. Take your reward. Mm-hmm. That's the sugar. The books which you brought from the library will be very useful. Take your reward. Mm-hmm. The books which you brought from the library... Yep. <laughs> Do you get rewards for each book? I guess so, yeah. Yeah, it gets, um, maybe a little bit tedious there. Now I'll give you your commission. And we already heard about this. 
Yes, destroy the undead. So spooky. I know, we, we, we Whenever ain't... they say Brockio, I always think of Broccolo from Animal Crossing. <laughs> Broccolo would like to see you. Good old Broccolo. Seek the nomads and keep them from joining our enemy. Yes. I have given all the missions that I may. And actually, we are not... We will do that. We are going to play with the nomads, but there is a way I'd like to do it. I'd like to do another very difficult mission before that. Um, so we're going to go ahead and um, do some training. Need a thousand gold pieces. You don't have enough experience. You know, I honestly do. I honestly did print out the um, lists of um, the levels, but honestly, I think this is actually just quicker. Splinter could be a magic user at three level. Steam Cloud, yes! Did he get any uh, hit points from that? Um, I'm not sure. 16. I was too busy, like, being happy that he learned Stink Cloud. Yeah, Stink Cloud is a good spell. That is going... Could be a magic user at 3 level, yes. And you'll never guess what she's gonna learn. Okay, her hit points are at 14. And they went up to 16, okay. Steam Cloud is going to save our lives so many times. I know, I wanted Nightshade and Craven to be fighters, though, because I need them to work the bows. Yeah. Craven could be a fighter at three level. <sighs> it's kind of sad that Rose is the only non-super pathetic person uh, here. Aww. No, everyone's really special. <laughs> Don't have enough experience. You're still too green. Alrighty, so we are going to go ahead and call this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. You know you're the best fans of any YouTuber in the world. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and we will catch you later with some other things. I'm Jordan Rolfus from Beagle Rampant Productions. And I'm Selena Rolfus. We love you. You're the best, and we hope you have lots of fun. Bye! Bye!